Hello, so this is workbook 199. And again, I'm going to put it on my own paper. So we're going to solve triangle ABC. If angle A is 29.3 degrees, side B equals 20.5 meters, and side A equals 12.8 meters. So again, I'm making an assumption that a triangle can be made. So let's do that. Notice how I keep saying that? That means one of these times, a triangle's not going to be able to make, be made. So 29.3. Um, over here will be 12.8, because that's the side opposite, um, the vertex A. Let's put B back here. So then this will be 20.5, and that leaves C up here to be found. Same old, same old. A side, an angle opposite that side, and one of the other sides. I'm, first thing to go after is that angle B. So it's going to be sine B over 20.5 equals sine 29.3 over 12.8 sine B 20.5 sine 29.3 12.8 calculator clear 20.5 times sine 29.3 equals divided by 12.8 equals 0 0.78. So I'll write it in this time. I haven't for a little bit. Approximately. So then second function sine of the answer is going to equal. So if your answer, if you're doing exactly what I'm writing, your answer is going to be a little bit different because notice that my calculator allowed me to put the entire answer in there. So all of that went in there. If you're only putting that much of this number in there, your answer is going to be a little bit different. So what I get is angle B equals approximately 52 degrees. Excellent, 52 degrees. So now the question is, and angle B could equal 180 minus 52. So 180 minus 52 is going to be 128. So, I wonder if we can make a triangle here. I know I can make a triangle here because 52 plus 29.3 is not greater than 180 degrees. This one, 128 plus 29.3, is also not greater than 180 degrees. So therefore, it's less than 180. Therefore, another triangle is possible. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes wild! Yay! Okay, so let's go and solve for these triangles. The first one will look something like this. I'll bring this up like that. Okay, the first one's going to look something like this. I'm going to come down, going to come over. I've got 29.3. Notice it's not drawn to scale. Over here I called this angle B, so that's 52. I'll use a different color because that's something that we found out. That's 12.8, and this is 20.5. A, B, C. That's triangle number one. What about triangle number two? Well, triangle number two is going to look a little bit different. So, how's it going to look? It's going to look like an obtuse triangle. This is going to be 29.3. This is going to be 128 degrees. Put some degree symbols in here. Make it look professional. Okay, so this is A, this is B, and this is C. I know that this stays at 12.8, doesn't change, and this stays at 20.5. So now you've got some discrepancies between these triangles. In this triangle, angle C will equal 180 minus 29.3 minus 52. <clears throat> 180 minus 29.3 minus 52. 98.7 degrees will be angle C. Over here, 
angle C will be 180 minus 29.3 minus 128. So 180 minus 29.3 minus 128 is 22.7 degrees. So in this triangle, that's 98.7 degrees. In this triangle, that's 22.7 degrees. The side length C is going to change in both of them. So C over sine of 98.7. I like to use the one that was given equals 12.8 over sine 29.3. This one will be C over sine of 22.7 equals 12.8 over sine of 29.3. That doesn't change for both of them. So finally, C is going to equal sine of 98.7 times 12.8 over top of sine 29.3. C is going to equal sine of 22.7 times 12.8 over top of sine of 29.3. Okay, so sine 98.7 bracket times 12.8 equals divided by sine 29.3 and bracket equals C equals approximately 20. 5.9 centimeters or meters or whatever it is and this C will equal sine 22.7 times 12.8 equals divided by sine 29.3 equals 10.1 meters. So up here we get this side length is 25.9 meters and over here we get this side length as being 10.1 meters. And you solve for your triangles. Now this is something I'd like you to do when you solve for your triangles. I want you to set them up so you have your sides, you have your angles, you have your sides, you have your angles. You're going to tell me, or you can do the other way around, you can do your angles and your side. So angle A, angle B, angle C, Angle A is 29.3, that was given. Angle B is 52 degrees. Angle C is 98.7 degrees. A is going to be 12.8, that was given. B, that's going to be 20.5, that was given. And C is going to be 25.9. Over here for this, and you're going to put a little square around it so I can find it. This is so I can go through and mark your stuff and be happy. Be a happy marker. If I've got to go through and look for stuff, I'm going to be a sad marker. I'm going to be a cranky marker. Cranky markers give X's. Happy markers give check marks. So you want to keep me a happy marker. So A is still going to be 12.8. B is still going to be 20.5. C, however, is going to be 10.1. Angle A is still going to be 29.3. Angle B, however, is going to be 128. And angle C will be 22.7. And again, happy marker time. I can find what I need, and off I go and give you full marks. And again, I don't care if the angles come first, then the side second. That's trivial, but I want this sort of setup. Okay, we're going to go away, and I'll be back in a moment.